Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. This guide shows you how to create a QR code for your Wi-Fi details. This makes it easy for other people to be able to connect into your Wi-Fi. Now, not everybody, obviously only people that you want to allow into your Wi-Fi. Instead of having to give them long passwords, they can automatically get in by scanning a QR code that you've generated. Now, this QR code, you can leave it as a photo on your device and they can scan your device or you can print it off stick it on the wall somewhere if you want if you run a, a cafe or a bar or something like that that has free wi-fi then instead of having to read out that code like i say you could stick it on a wall somewhere or print it out and hand it out on a card to people to be able to scan in put it on the table or something like that so like i say this guide shows you how to generate that code and how your friends and your customers can use that code. So first of all, you need to go to a website. Now you can do this on a PC, phone or a tablet. All you've got to do is go into your device's browser. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this from a PC, but the method is exactly the same on any device. So you open up your browser. Now I've opened up Chrome on mine. If you've got an Android phone or a tablet, then you can probably open up Chrome on that, or you've just hit the internet button. If you're using a Apple device, such as a, a Mac, an iPhone, or a tablet, then open up Safari. Go to the address bar at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle of the screen, but the address bar right at the top. Delete out anything that might be in there, and then just type qifi.org. That's qifi. Dot .org, just like it's shown on the screen. If you need time to copy this down, then just pause this video at that, this point. Then once you've done that, press enter or return on your keyboard or tap go. Okay, so if you're worried about security, then the actual QR code is generated actually in your browser. No information is actually sent to the server. And even if it was sent to the server, if somebody did intercept your information, i.e. your Wi-Fi code and your Wi-Fi name, then at the end of the day, they've actually got to be within range of your Wi-Fi. And Wi-Fi range is generally around about 100 foot, 30 meters or so from your property. So unless somebody is hacking into a server somewhere lives next door to you then you've really got no need to, uh, to to worry but like i say this site does actually say if you read this in the about here below it actually tells you that they don't actually send any details back to the server the qr code is generated locally on your machine so okay so what we need to do is we need to grab our wi-fi key from the back of our router i've got a card on mine so i'll just grab the card there we go and i just read the details on the card and type them into here so my network name i type in the ssid column and the network password i'd type in the key column the encryption drop down has got three options wpa wpa2 wpa3 which is probably the setting that you need it on unless you've got a really old router that's probably more than 10 years old then you might want to use web there and if you've got no password on your router then encryption mm -hmm. none is probably the, uh, the the best option to use there i'm going to select wpa wpa2 stroke wpa3 that is more than likely the option that you're going to need so i'm just going to type those details in so bt hub 5 and then uh, uh, uh. so in key i'm going to click into key and then i'm going to type in there the wireless password as it's shown on the card for my router now if i want to double check whether or not I've typed in the key correctly. I can click on this I here and that will reveal the key or the password. And if your network name has been hidden, then you can click on this box here, hidden, put a tick in there. Most SSIDs won't be hidden. If you can see it when you're searching for a Wi-Fi network, then your SSID certainly isn't hidden. So if you can see your Wi-Fi name just up there, 
when you search for uh, a Wi-Fi normally, then yes, it's not going to be hidden. So leave that box unticked. And then all you need to do is move your mouse over generate, left click once. And there we go. It's now generated a QR code for us. So you've got a few options here. It says here you can save it. So save it as an HTML5 file if you want, which I'll be honest, doesn't seem to work in Google Chrome. I don't know about other browsers. You can click export, which will export the QR code as a uh, PNG file, a graphics file, or if you want, you can print the code. So just click print and that will send that to the printer for you. So now I'm going to show you how you can actually use this QR code. So I'm going to leave it on the screen. OK, and let's just go into my Android mobile and go into the QR code scanner on there. So let's just do that. OK, that's come up and let's scan the QR code. There we go. It's scanned it. And then what I do here is I tap on connect to Wi-Fi just there and it says connecting. This might take a few moments. So uh, we're just going to let that go through. And there you go. As you can see, I'm now connected to the Wi-Fi. So let's just double check that. Yep, I'm connected to my Wi-Fi without having to type anything in. So if you've got an Apple device, then all you need to do is just go into the camera if you have iOS 11 or above. If you've got iOS 10 or below, then you'll need to get a QR code app if you haven't got one already. So you can go into the App Store to do that. So I've got iOS 15.4, I think it is. So I'm just going to go into camera. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scan the QR code. OK, so it says here, join BT Hub 5 CJWJ. That's my BT Hub. So I'm going to tap on that. OK, and I'm going to tap on join just there. So let's just do that. And hopefully if I come out of this app now, so I'm just going to press the button on the front of the iPad. And hopefully if I go into settings. And into Wi-Fi and there you go, it has actually joined. Sometimes on the iPad, I've noticed it does say incorrect password. It does take a few goes at joining if you have uh, the same problem as I had when I tried this earlier then all I can suggest is if you've got it connected to a, a VPN then disconnect from the VPN before trying this and perhaps try restarting your device if you don't have any luck so there you go a great website there to enable you to generate a, uh, a Wi-Fi QR code to give to your friends your relatives or your customers so that they can connect in to your Wi-Fi. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at CWTech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.